Uh, we're on the set of uh, Shattered and we're uh, you know, trying to get Lagos to find out what makes pretty ladies like you tick. Um, so there's goodness here with me and Bumi. Uh, tell us a bit about yourselves. Okay, well I'm goodness Emmanuel. I'm an actress obviously and a lawyer too. Yeah, you don't know that, I'm a lawyer, yes. And, um, I've been acting since like a hundred level, so while I was studying law, I was also acting. And I'm, a, I'm an amazing singer, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So what? Okay, hi. Oh, hi everyone, my name is Uduwa Bumishu I'm not a lawyer. I'm an actor. Uh, I started acting in 2013, I took a break, but now I'm back. With a vengeance, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm back. I'm back. Been in, uh, <laughs> recently. Because I know you've been in stuff, but maybe they need to hear it from you, obviously. Yes. Okay. Back in 2013, I started my career with William Wally And uh, I did a couple of things with him. So now, I'm working with Kenneth Wall. I was then in Game of Weight and Mad Men and Specialist. Three people came to see that. That was Sibel. Sibel in Mad Men and Specialist. And goodness, uh, what have you been doing recently? <laughs> the list is really long, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, recently I've been busy shooting series with um, Hollywood, Whitestone Cinema. Yeah, so I just finished that. And um, this life, while I didn't go basically that's what I've been off to this year for like six months. Okay, um, so tell us about, because you guys are, your characters in the, in this play, um, you guys are meant to be besties, right? Yeah, yeah kind of. Best buddies. Is she like this, like the fanzine one or? Yeah. No, she, 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 she's always fanzine. I'm like the cute one, so of course. <laughs> no, oh. so she, she, you guys know me. She's the fanzine. <laughs> well, tell us your story. What, what's it like, um, you know, working together, you know, on set, and how has it been? What's your, I mean, what are your characters like? Well, first of all, working with this girl is, you know, it's fun. She could be a rat, but she's okay. Yeah. But my character, well, I get to play the lead, and that's um, love it. She's um, a Sixteen year old girl, you know, who lost her father, you know, trying to manage, so to speak, with her mom. And you know, get raped on the same day of the one year remembrance of her father's death. And she was raped by her father's close friend. Someone who's like a father to her, you know, so really traumatic. So I get to be really, really emotional. Okay, so I'm a bestie. Mm -hmm. I played the character Nancy. Nancy is a best friend. She's the what she tells everything. So everything? Everything. Yeah, everything. That's what she thinks actually. Everything. That's what she thinks. Okay. Maybe not everything. Anyways. Everything. So she was the first uh, she was the first person she told when she got raped and Nancy was caught between telling her mom or just keeping it to herself. So I played the character, Nancy. And working with her really big easy. She's not such a diva. You know. Because I know she can't handle it, so I try. Anyway, <laughs> it's been easy working with her. So you guys like friends offset or is this just like Yeah, she's trying to be my friend offset, but I mean it's okay. I can have her. I can add her to the list of friends that I have. It's okay. Yeah, you have so many friends. Yes I do. Wow. Well, I just let her have this one. She really needs to farm me right now, so it's okay. So how are my legs, right? Yeah. So, you know, about how challenging was it to play, you know, someone who's been a victim of this like really serious like assault? Because it's like it's hard, right? What did you have to do, you know, for your research? You know, what? How did you? How did you get into character, so to speak, for this? Well, I don't mean to start crying now. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. Well, wait, but 
one's own is a very touchy subject, you know, on its own. It's enough to evoke a certain, you know, level of emotion. But for me, it's, it's, it's something, um, you know, the violence against women is something I'm really passionate about. So this is giving me like an opportunity to speak so to, you know, to people about it. And well, I had to watch a couple of movies, you know, that talk about the subject right? and I had to read a lot too. And then research within myself, like what would I do if this actually happened to me? So basically that's that, that's it. Is it the most challenging thing you've ever done? Um, I don't call it the most challenging. Huh. But it's so it was a kick really, then? No, no, no. Certainly really, really challenging. But I don't know if it's the most challenging. But okay. It's challenging. I mean, I know, well, for you, being a friend, is it easy? Does it come easy to you being a friend? Well, no. Because I've... I never had a friend that I was really like that. So, but I was able to see through her eyes because she, she nailed the character. Don't worry, come, come see. Come see. You know, so, you know, I started feeling for her. Like, she actually went through it. You know, so I was there for her. And that okay. And that's how I tried to find me. What's okay? Yeah. It's okay. Alright. So, October 4th, it kicks off in tarot culture, right? Yes. Um, what yeah, are people... Yes. What? Yeah, every Sunday in October, starting from the 4th, you guys have to come see Zarin. I mean, I've come to see my awesome self because I get to see her. There are many, many other awesome people there. Yeah. And then, you know, you get to hear from our own perspective, you know, the issue of rape and, you know, violence against women. Really enjoy it. it sounds like it's going to be a serious, serious affair, is it? It is. Rip is not a joking matter. Mm -hmm. okay. Serious, so come and see it. All right. Come one, come all.